What is going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to temporarily disable your active bounty whilst playing in Grand Theft Auto Online. So if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like, it really does help out and it really does show you support our videos. Let's see if we can shoot for something over 400 likes, that'd be amazing. And with that said, let's begin. So basically the way in which this works is it enables you to go into passive mode whilst you have an active bounty on your head. So for anybody who doesn't know, you're not supposed to be allowed to go into passive mode whilst you do have an active bounty because of course everybody in that session is allowed to come and claim your bounty. Nevertheless, once you do do this, of course you will be in passive mode so nobody can kill you and I guess it's also a pretty good way to kind of save the bounty that you do have placed on you and kind of give that to a friend or you know let your friend kill you for the money if he ever needs it. So it's definitely a cool little trick or glitch that I thought I'd share to you guys today. I know it's not the best glitch, but it's definitely something worth sharing. And if you guys want to do this, of course, all you need to do is simply have a bounty placed on your head. So as you can see, my good friend here, Dummy's Live, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below for you guys to check out. He went and placed a bounty on my head just to demonstrate to you guys how this will work. And once you have a bounty on your head, guys, what you need to do is simply press the start button then go down to online, then go down to options. And what you want to do is simply make sure that you have your last location set to garage. From there, simply press start once again, then go down to online, then go ahead and click on find new session. Now what will happen here guys is it will spawn you down into your garage and for some reason once spawning into your garage and only when spawning down into your garage, it enables you to go into passive mode. So as you can see, just hold down, select or the back button and then simply scroll down and enable passive mode and you have the glitch done. You can simply walk out of your garage and then you are in passive mode whilst you have an active bounty on your head. So as you're going to see now, Dummies Live join my session. And he was about to demonstrate that I can't actually get shot or I can't get, you know, blown up by anything until this chopper came along and ruined his day. He got absolutely taken out by this chopper, as you can see there. Pretty humorous to say the least. He was about to come and shoot me just to show you guys that this is, you know, completely working. And two random guys in a chopper just came and took him out. So we had to wait a little while to actually get into position just to show you guys. So as you can see now, he's trying to shoot me and his bullets are just penetrating nothing. They're just going straight through my body and, um... On his screen, on the minimap, I'm a normal icon, so it looks like I should be able to die, but in actual fact, I can't. So on their screen, I guess it would look like you have invincibility, but on your screen, you're just in passive mode with a bounty on your head, which kind of glitches out the minimap in a sense. Nevertheless, as you can see there, he threw some tab and gases. I don't really know what they're called on this game. I've completely forgot, but um, they don't affect me in the slightest, and he's trying to shoot me, and I'm just walking towards him like a boss. And he just simply can't kill me. So that is pretty much one way of doing this. There is another way to do this without going to your garage. I'm going to be showing you guys that any second now. But there you go. It's, I know it's not the best glitch, but it's definitely a nice little trick you can do if you guys ever want to save a bounty for your friend. Or if you just want to temporarily disable your active bounty. Nevertheless, guys, the second way to do this is once you have a bounty on your head, simply press the start button, then go across to online. Then go ahead and click find new session. Now once you do spawn into the new session guys, you have to be really quick here otherwise this will not work. Hold the back button down and click enable passive mode. Now you do have to be really quick there guys otherwise this will not work and enable passive mode will be blacked out and of course you won't be able to click it. And it took me around 2-3 to three tries to get it to work that way as I wasn't quick enough. Nevertheless once you do do that, once again the glitch will work and that is how you do it guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, hopefully I did explain it well enough and hopefully it does help you out in the long run if you ever need to evade a bounty. Nevertheless, I'm going to leave the commentary there, so if you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like, guys. It really does help out. Once again, can we shoot for something over 400 likes? That would be amazing. Also, if you want to go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you can do that at 2 Dynamic HD. We're always trying to interact with you guys on there and always trying to keep you up to date on what we're going to post next. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.